It's Dan Moriarty, it's Jim Bowden, it's Fox Sports Radio here from the Catch Restaurant in Anaheim, California. And joining us right now from the Chicago Cubs is Lou Pinella. Lou, how you doing, sir? Fellas, how you guys doing? Doing fantastic. Thanks for taking some time on this Sunday, getting into almost the three-day All-Star festivities happening here in Anaheim, California. Well, good. Uh, I, I was just discussing this with Jim before you jumped on, uh, sir. The one-loss record for the Cubs, obviously, first half of the year, is disappointing. Can you put your finger on one thing that went wrong? Well, I guess the biggest thing that went wrong is uh, the fact that we didn't score many runs early in the year. Uh, we were built uh, for power and, and, and built for offense, and, uh, you know, we've struggled. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few ball games where uh, uh, we've scored three runs or less, and uh, it's hard to win that way. Uh, when we win baseball games, we're averaging around six runs a game, and when we're losing baseball games, we're averaging just a little over two. And uh, it makes it awful, awfully tough to win uh, with two runs with any consistency. Lou, you've won a lot of games as manager, and you've turned a lot of franchises around. You did it in Cincinnati. You did it in Seattle. You did it in Tampa. You've done it your whole career. When you look at your, your Cubs ball club and you're getting to the trade deadline here, are there ways that you can turn this club around to maybe get back in this race in the second half, or are the Cubs now sellers? Well, I don't know that. Uh, our general manager makes those decisions. But I'll tell you, uh, we've been swinging the bat a little better here uh, in the last week or 10 days. Uh, we're putting runs on the board a little more consistency, and uh, that bodes well for us uh, in, in the future. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going to happen here as far as uh, uh, what, what this club will do, but uh, I do know that uh, if we can put together a nice hot streak here uh, after the All-Star break, uh, that we can close this thing down to five games or so and give ourselves a chance. Uh, that's what I'm hoping, and uh, that's what we're playing for. Lou, you, you talked about the offense in the first half. Ramos Ramirez gets off to a terrible start. Then he hurts his, his thumb, and then all of a sudden, recently, he's gotten hot again. What happened at the beginning of the season with him, and how did he get going now? Well, uh, he, he did hurt himself uh, early in the year. Uh, uh, the way he held his bat, uh, he, he took a series of, 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 of uh, bad swings, uh, especially on off-speed pitches, and he got himself uh, where he had some inflammation in that joint on, in the thumb, uh, and and we had to give him some time off. Uh, he couldn't play. We finally had to DL him, and I think that's probably the best move we made because uh, uh, it, it's gotten better. He's changed the grip on his bat uh, with his thumb where uh, uh, it doesn't uh, collide with uh, with his top hand as he swings uh, through a baseball, and he's swinging the bat well. Look, uh, we need to hit baseball here our pitching basically is okay uh, but we don't have the shutout pitching or, or, or the, the pitching that's going to win uh, 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 you know consistently the low scoring ball game so we need to score runs and, and lately we've been scoring runs and we've been winning a few more ball games and, you know so far in our division uh, nobody really wants to really run away and hide so uh we're hanging around there uh, guess what nine games or so out if we can close this thing down to five sometime uh first part of august uh, we'll give ourselves a chance and uh that, that's what we're, we're counting on and that's what we're hoping on and we'll see lou Pinella, chicago cubs joining us here on fox sports radio you know we were talking about this before you you, you came on with this lou and I, I was going over last year you, you talked with jim early in fact about this you know, the trade deadline coming up, buyers or sellers. Well, last year, Milton Bradley, you traded him to Seattle, had some problems there. This year, maybe some problems with Carlos Zambrano. What do you do? Do you, do you have to do the same thing again? Is another trade happening because of the situation in the dugout? Well, they traded uh, uh, Milton uh, after the season's over. Uh, we did. We traded him for Silva. Uh, you know, last year at the trading deadline, we were in first place, and we did really uh, nothing uh, at the break except, uh, well, we picked up a, a couple pitchers from Pittsburgh. Uh, but we were, were struggling some offensively. Uh, this year here, I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I, I really don't. Uh, like I say, I, I Jim does a, a nice job in that department, and, and uh, I stay away from it. But let me tell you, uh, uh, I know this, that if we can swing the bats with consistency between now and, and uh, uh, middle of August or so, uh, uh, we can have some fun and make this a, a respectable season. I've been here uh, going on my fourth year now. We, we won two divisions. Uh, last year we finished second in our division, so it would be nice to finish up here uh, this year with uh, four winning seasons in a row and give ourselves a chance.
that's Lou, all there, I can hope for as a manager, and that's what I'm working for. Lou, will there be a fifth season for Lou Pinnell in Chicago? Do you want to come back another year, or are you going to decide at the end of the year? Yeah, I would decide at the end of the year. There's no hurry in uh, making any decisions. I've already said that this will be my last stop. Uh, uh, that I'm certain about. Uh, yeah, I've turned 67 this year, and... Uh, uh, I've enjoyed my, my uh, four years here in Chicago. This year has been, been a little rough because you know, we've lost more than we've won, and that, that's not fun for any manager or any general manager. So, But, again, we'll see. I, I don't have to make any decisions today or tomorrow. Lou, uh, the baseball family uh, lost a good one uh, yesterday. Bob Shepard passing yeah. away, the PA announcer. What did he mean to you when you walked up to the plate as a player or you took the lineup card out as a manager and, and you heard your name being being out there by Bob Shepard? Well, you know, he had that great voice and that great presence, and uh, he was a friend. I used to enjoy uh, talking uh, uh, with Bob, and he was a fixture. In fact, uh, more than a fixture. He's a, a legend over there at Yankee Stadium. You talk about all the great players that played there and all the world championships and so forth, and this guy was just a, a constant, and uh, he was a rock, and uh, he had that really really great voice yeah he, he, he's passed away and the yankees have lost a, a big member of their family lou Pinella, chicago cubs sir as always thanks for coming on i really appreciate thanks. it thanks jim thank you pleasure lou